Hello and welcome to the Workflow Max and Google Calendar integration. My name is Chris and I'm the owner of Shushmonkey IT Solutions. We provide support and develop automation tools specifically tailored for the Google Apps for Work pro platform. And we also provide consultancy services for small to medium businesses to streamline their processes through simple and intuitive online solutions. That's enough of the pitch. Let's get through to the integration demo. So what does it do? Well, it's very basic. It synchronizes your work for max jobs and tasks to your Google Calendar. It allows you and your staff to manage jobs and tasks from any Google Calendar connected mobile or web application. Some features include the ability to reschedule jobs and tasks on any device. Share jobs and tasks schedules to external vendors. You can add comments and descriptions to jobs and tasks. Change staff assigned to the job or task from in your calendar. Enhance your job or task from any calendar feature available in your app. What are the benefits? Well, you can immediately reschedule jobs and tasks while mobile and on site. No need to wait till you get back to the office to log in to Workflow Max. Instant job updates mean no critical details are forgotten. You can add comments on your mobile, so no more handwritten notes. There is zero learning curve because it already uses and integrates with your current calendar app. There is no learning curve for a new version of an app. Better visibility of Workflow Max projects. As you'll see, looking at the Workflow Max projects and tasks in your calendar makes it much easier to get a scope of everything that you're doing that week. It's a set and forget application. So once you set it up, there's generally no need to go back unless there's a conflict in your data, but then there's an intuitive GUI for you to be able to rectify those issues. What's new in version two? Well, about a year ago, we begun, we developed version one and it only synchronized jobs. It only synchronized one staff member assigned to a job. It allowed the rescheduling of jobs it allowed you to add descriptions or comments. It had a conflict resolution GUI and it enabled you to remove the current jobs from, from your calendar. Version two required a complete rewrite. So now it syncs jobs and tasks. It also syncs multiple staff members assigned to a single job or task. We've enabled a link to the workflow Max source directly from your calendar event. It, you can create tasks as appointments, which include a start and end time, as well as a start and end date. Add description or comments. It has a conflict resolution GUI for jobs and tasks. It has a faster sync engine. It gives you the ability to remove all jobs and tasks from the calendars. All right, let's sync. Setting up the script is quite straightforward. So all you need to do is you configure Workflow Max with your API and account keys, and then you join the calendars with the staff members that it pulls from Workflow Max. And then you configure your custom task fields with, if you want to choose to use start and end time fields. And then you start your service. And the increments are one, five, 10, and 30 minutes. For the demonstration, we're just going to force sync because that enables us to do it much more quickly and we don't have to wait for the sync interval. Okay, so it's finished there. If we go over to our calendars, you can see that the jobs are synchronized as an all day event. The event titles consist of a job number, job title, and client name. As you can see here, we've got job 26, monthly maintenance as the name, and Spencer & Co as the client. Jobs are synchronized with the secret workflow max tag for complete back out solution. So every job that is synced, every event that is synchronized with our integration 
has a secret tag attached to it, which enables you to clean all the events out of the calendar without touching your existing calendar entries. It syncs with a link to the Workflow Max source. So if we go into a job, here we go for the source, open URL. And there we are, job 26. A six as an available event. And this is handy because if you use any external calendar booking system, like you can book.me, um, having an all day event won't block out your entire week so that people can still book times with you, but jobs will still be shown as spanning the entire schedule that they're set to. And a little tip, set the time like an appointment without affecting the work for max, max job. So because we don't monitor the time field in jobs, you can set a job to a specific time. Because it spans multiple days, it will still stay up there in the all day event banner, but you'll be notified via your notifications on your mobile or web app, um, pro whatever your um, notification settings are. Okay, tasks. Tasks can synchronize as appointments. Now they don't have to. If you don't set up a custom field for times, then they'll just sync as all day events. Let's go and have a look what we're talking about um, for custom time fields. Okay, so we've got a computer system rebuild task here. And here we have set up some custom fields, start time and end time. This can be called whatever you like because we really are concerned about the ID of the um, custom field and everything is on the wiki about how to set that up. It takes about 20 seconds. So let's edit the task. And the time is 24 hour. I've just put this custom field in there just to notify people that it's 24 hour time. So let's go 11.30 a.m. till 16.30, so 4.30 in the afternoon. Another important fact is it won't synchronize unless you select the scheduled task option. And we want that on that task to only go on the one day. So let's assign it to all three staff members that I have in my test account here. Yeah. Save that. And okay, wait for it to finish loading everything. Okay, let's go back to integration and we'll do a force sync. And just remember if you've got it set to a schedule, this will automatically happen on that schedule. You go to the task tab. There we go. So we've got everybody, all my three staff members in there. Oh, that one, sorry. All my three staff members, and it's synchronizing 11.30 to 16.30 in the afternoon. Let's go and have a look. There we go. There's my three tasks. Event titles are the same as jobs, but they have a task distinguisher. So as you, as you saw here, each one of the tasks looks the same as a job, but has the job number, tells you it's a task, tells you the job name and the um, client. Tasks are synchronized with the secret workflow max tag for complete backout as well, same as the jobs. Tasks also sync with a link to the Workflow Max source, and just like the jobs, that will link directly 
So we've got the source link here that will link directly to the word for next task. There we go. Computer system rebuild. Task number 27 for job 27. The important thing is tasks sync as a busy event. Because they're meant for, to be appointments or a subset of jobs, we want to block out that time so that if you book in um, staff to go out on site or to do a job, then they will sync as busy events, as you see down here. Task tip, don't want to sync a task? Deselect the scheduled task option to stop it syncing to your calendar. So this will also remove the task once you deselect the sync task option and it will clean itself out of the calendar out of the calendar as well as out of the um, spreadsheet Moves itself out of the spreadsheet, keeping it nice and clean. And we'll refresh. These tasks should disappear. Done and done. All right, so if you're interested in enhancing your workflow max now, you better hurry up because the pre-release price is $3.99 and that ends on midnight on the 4th of the 2nd, 4th of February, 2016. And that price includes setup assistance, updates and feature enhancements for the life of the product and online product support. Once we go into production, that release price will be $5.49. Still with the same inclusions. So if you want to pick it up, go and visit the site at workflowmax.shushmonkey.com forward slash purchase. Thank you very much.